Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise, and welcome to what might very well be the shortest weird and wonderful I've ever recorded, because there's not much to talk about because I can't talk much about it, uh, because I don't understand this thing. Uh, the thing in question is uh, the 9H377 Hunter Killer. It is uh, designed, uh, well, made by Samson, and this is made for World War Neater, so uh, having been reminded uh, the last time I did a Weird and Wonderful that Will World War Neater exists. Um, you can go to the Steam Workshop page of this very craft and go find out the rules and all the, the shindigs surrounding that. Uh, but suffice to say, uh, I had a look at a bunch of different craft uh, that I'd subscribed to on the workshop just to think, okay, what's, what's, feel what's particularly weird and what's particularly wonderful uh, about them? And uh, I looked at a few and was like, eh, and then I spotted this thing as like, does this helicopter have a face? And yes, it does. This reminds me very much of something like, uh, for those of you who've played Command and Conquer, uh, and like the Brotherhood of, no of Nod, and this, uh, I have no idea what the backstory uh, behind this particular craft is, all the factions it's part of. Shame on me, I should have read it, but I didn't. But anyway, this ha definitely has that vibe, and it's a very cool looking helicopter. So, yeah, the wonderful is plain to see. This thing is mostly mimics, uh, by the way. So, if I get back on there, um, if we go here and only view mimics, you'll notice that um, the whole damn thing is basically still visible. And, like, um, there's very little of it that this... Well, it's all mimics, basically. Uh, to the point where I can't really talk about it, because I'm having real trouble uh, looking in here... And, um, to actually see, like, what on earth is, you know, can I get rid of that? Can I get, get it, like, see, the, that's the other thing with this. This is filled with spin blocks and, and other things that, like, I can't see what's happening in here. I have no idea how you build something like this. Probably have to build a whole bunch of stuff separately and then slap it together. So, yeah, the, the weird is definitely the fact that, um... This thing, I, this thing either runs off a breadboard or off um, something else because by the looks of it, yeah, it doesn't have any AI routines at all. It doesn't have behavior or anything like that. So I suspect uh, whatever, however this thing runs, it does it off ACBs or a breadboard. I actually can't find um, anything in here. So hang on. Did that help? Not, re not really. Uh, is that bread in there? Nope, that's not bread. Nope. I see ACVs, multiple. So anyway, yeah, this thing is a complete mystery to me, and that's why, ironically, I'm covering I can't talk about it very much, like I said, because this thing is is plain to see beyond... Uh, there's the breadboard. It's blank. It's completely blank. I... Well, I already give up. I would need to poke at this thing a lot, but suffice to say, uh, we need to watch this thing shoot something, so let's uh, shoot at an atlas. Because, why not? So, because this thing definitely maneuvers, it runs away at high speed, and it's, um, it's not the most formidable craft, uh, because, well, it's small and cheap, and it's mostly about the aesthetics, but it does drop these little, uh, these little, I guess, what would you call these? These are like, um, I guess, rocket-propelled mines, because they uh, jump over there, and they fall down, and then they go kablooey, like so. And they're actually pretty strong. Like, um, where the hell are the missiles on this? Uh, medium rail gantry. Yep, so uh, they are very much, they are big. They are big, 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 and it does have a gun here. 16... Well, nah, it's a 60mm autocannon that is mimicked very nicely. A little bit of clipping under there, but uh, yeah, the main armament of this is uh, it definitely these bomblets, and I'm totally going to steal that idea because, frankly, it works really well. It, like, it kind of vaporizes stuff. And uh, you'll notice the Atlas is armed with flak, and it's actually not doing a very good job of even damaging this thing, so it's um, not the most meta thing in the world. It's not incredibly... Powerful, but damn if it doesn't look cool. Hunter killer, ladies and gentlemen. It's like... So yeah, wonderful, because it's a very good-looking, distinctive helicopter. Uh, Kane would be proud. 
And, um, yeah, like, very clever missiles on it. And, yeah. Like, it does, um... I, if it is for, like... If this is for World War Neater, so presumably this is a faction craft. This thing death spirals like no one's business, so... If it gets damaged, um... It does little loop-de-loops like crazy. And I'm not sure if it has any scuttle settings. I don't think it does, not when I tested it, so... That could be a bit of a problem. But, you know what, like, if you remember to stick a laser on things, then it should be absolutely a-okay. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's the Hunter Killer. Like, nice, short, and sweet. Uh, go subscribe to this thing, have a look at it. Yeah, it's like, it's a real evil-looking little helicopter thing, and these bomblets are pretty groovy. Very maneuverable, too. Do they have magnets on them? I forgot to tell. They clearly don't need magnets. Boom. And whoopsies. So yeah. That's the Hunter Killer. And yep, this is as about as short as Weird and Wonderfuls get. So thank you all so much for watching. Uh, thank you, Samson, for making this thing and putting it up in the workshop for everybody to enjoy. And yeah. Once again, thanks everybody for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps. And there's fun perks in it for you. And I forgot my own spiel because I'm just looking at this thing's face and it's looking back at me. Oh yeah, the, 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 thank you to all of my current supporters. And be sure to check out World War Neater. Um, specifically because I haven't done that yet and I really should. So yeah. Farewell.